waterway. Wow. Um, this this is just barrier sensors and an NFC. Um, we use a lab bus to run it through to the computer for graphing. Take your mic, Grant. I'm Grant. I'm the bee. Hi. <laughs> He's done. Uh, um, yeah. Well, uh, John's going to run the program right now. As you see that the, um, the conductivity and temperature sensor goes down, and then the pH sensor goes down, and then the uh, dissolved oxygen sensor goes down, either we can have, take a sample bottle that we got from around our campus, from the Rouge River, and dip it under the sensors, or we can actually um, have it flow in the waterway and take the samples directly from there. Okay, um, at our editorial, we did a test overnight, so we just left it in the pool overnight, and it collected like 170 samples, because we did it every 10 minutes. Okay, so... Well, basically, the program is to... Well, you, the, it just tells it to go down, read the sensor, and come back up, and then it saves it temporarily, totally. And so, it works very well. We are from Cranbrook, Kingswood Middle School. We are sixth grade. Hi, this is Team 304-S2. I made Operation Chocolate. I made you here. I'm Lindsay Hartman. Operation Chocolate creates delicious customized chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> to begin, we'll introduce the robotic staff members. This is the waitress, the food inspector, the chef, the lazy Susan, and the sprinkle machine. We'll explain what to do in a moment. Each choice is set in the menu has a menu card. You place the menu card in the slot on the waitress and wait for the light to go on. If the light is on, you press the button and the operation begins. We'll demonstrate with chocolate. After the card is inserted and the button is pressed, the waitress sends the order to the food inspector and then sends it to the chef. The chef grabs the pretzel from the lady Susan and dips it to the chocolate. Now it's shaking off the extra chocolate. It's going to the full sheet of wax paper to let the pretzel cool off. Now it's returning to Lady Susan who will supply another pretzel. The lights come on to show the dog. It's ready for another card to be inserted. As you can see, there's a lot of communication and sensors going on with these robots. The waitress a touch sensor to tell where to start. It uses two light sensors to read the uh, menu card. It then sends an eye message to the food inspector who uses a temperature sensor to check the temperature of the white chocolate. The food inspector sends an eye message to the chef who uses a rotation sensor to know where to go for the chocolate. The chef then sends an eye message to Lady Susan who uses the rotation sensor to turn to 90 degrees. It sends an eye message back to the waitress and it starts all over again. The sprinkle machine works by itself using a touch sensor to know where to start. We had to do a lot of chemistry to find good temperatures for the dipping. Um, you can see on our board we have the part between um, our temperature sensor reading and the real temperature. These robots can be sold at companies and used at home. At home, it's fun to watch and useful, and at companies, it can learn with very little human interaction. We hope you enjoy. Twitter Academy. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm sixth grade at Camp Charter Academy. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm sixth grade at Camp Charter Academy. We are Team Till, and that's based for geology and landings terms. Um, we built uh, a lot of people's goals to create a game that would really get kids interested in like robotics, but also like, just get them interested in it, but also teach them about math, science, and technology in general. Um, the first part of our robot is a coin acceptor that 